Absolutely fucking eye track them two now. The sound of Ray keep touching down. Can I ask you about uh, Stevie Harvey Dick? Because a lot of people have, have asked me to ask you this question. Uh, what, what was his legacy as an MC in the scene? And also, when he did pass away, how did, how did, you, how did you all, you personally, but also collectively as a group of DJs and artists in yeah, that scene feel? That was a really sad time because I remember Nicky rang my home phone about four or five times and then I, I got him on the phone. Now, I was one of the last people to see him because we were at Camden Palace and he was leaving. I was coming in to do the last set. He just got signed to a major. Fulton Broadway and they were going to put his album out and he was holding his chest and and he said to me I said you're right he said yeah I've got, I've got like heartburn he goes I'm going to go home he goes but I'm going to chat to you in the week and let's get together and make 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 some tunes for the album and then Nicky called me and then told me he'd, he'd passed away and that sense of loss is just you, you you can't really and you know like Nicky's like our kid do you know what I mean like he's like our little young brother that you'd protect and to see him go through that and he was young he wasn't really equipped to go through that emotionally we worked in the shop together and it was so heartbreaking you know like when you lose your mum or when you lose your dad and when you lose someone you know and that and that's something that you know as much as that is a sad moment, the moment that I can share with you is, well, Nicky's a little fucker sometimes because uh, we, we were up in Manchester and he was with Stevie. Now he knew that Stevie was like potting the, potting, potting the kingpin shot because if you've got him in your corner, he's gonna tear up the dance. So, you know, they were in Manchester, you know, and I saw Nicky, uh, up there and I thought and, you know he's like yeah he's sure of himself he's like yeah you know I bust up the place in it I smash this up me and Stevie and, you know Stevie but you know they're killing it and I went oh yeah so I come on with the remix of the Dirty Chopper and I mixed it in so the Reese bass line would just drop in and out and when I'm telling you the place went mad, <laughs> right? I had to wheel up the tune three times. There you go. <laughs> I mean, well, I wasn't there, so I can't say. <laughs> exactly. So, and then Stevie went, you know what, I'm gonna jump on with Ray, you know. <laughs> and as he jumped on, he went, mah, 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 mah. and the place, I'm telling you, that feeling and I looked at Mick, Nicky and Nicky was bending his ear like that as if to say you fucker I want that tune <laughs> but that's how it was you know we was family but he knew and you know like we go in there and we are we're not messing about you know like when we go and DJ we're not going there to just fuck about all the DJs right now in, in our calibre and in our um in our age group and all the pioneers, we don't mess about when it it's serious. We take our stuff seriously. It's part of our lives, it's our legacy, do you know what I mean? And that moment now, that I'll always hold that moment, me and Nick will always hold that moment because we shared that moment together. You know, and there was times when um, uh, I listened to Stevie Hyper, uh, me on some tape pack and I was like, fucking hell, it sounds like I'm there. It sounds like he's there. He's not gone, you know. And there's a legacy, isn't there? When I'm when I'm long gone, people will play our music, that they'll love our music. I've been so blessed to be part of something that's been global and be part of and share it with people, you know, like that what what bigger gift could you have than that? So I wouldn't change anything for the world. But yeah, Stevie was just like it was it was a it was a moment that that you that it was a moment that just everything stops and, and then you just think how precious life is and that you've got to grasp that moment today rather than tomorrow. <laughs>